generic 90s thing you've ever seen? Well, get a load of this. Yep, that is a dinosaur on a skateboard. That is Radical Rex. So this little dude, like so many characters in the 90s, tried to be the IT character and pry gamers' attention away from Mario and Sonic. And he failed miserably. The thing is, the game is not that bad. By no means is it great or even good. It's just average. No amount of gnarly dude from our boy Rex was going to change that. Now, like most platformers, you make your way around collecting some sort of object, in this case an egg, while trying to get to the end of the level. Awesome. You'll occasionally hop on the old skateboard and grind or whatever, and that's fun, I guess, but there's actually some pretty good variety of levels. This includes a volcanic rim area, treetops, underwater, and the dinosaur's anus. Now, we've seen dino insides before in games like Bonk's Adventure, but good god, look at all those intestines. They send you through them like Sonic goes through his S-curves. Only there's poop in these. But you know what? I can appreciate any game that can blow fire, turning a dinosaur into a charred mess, and then kicking said dinosaur and turning it into dust. I can also appreciate any game that attempts to rap at you all 90s style, complete with backup dancers while the dinosaur does some sort of jig. But what I can't stand is how ridiculous it is that the designers would think a dinosaur would be able to hop on, let alone stay on, a pogo stick. What the fuck, designers? How the shit's he supposed to stand there with those tiny ass arms? 